I think that what the average Australian doesn't realise is just how much textile waste is in landfill, that the textile industry is not that sustainable and I think we're all aware of the plastics industry but the textiles is second behind plastics in terms of ending up in our landfill and I think that because there is not the awareness around the need to recycle clothing then the general public is not that active about trying to seek out more um, recycling solutions for, for textiles. Textiles utilises a whole host of different materials. We use natural polymers, so cotton, silk, wool. We also use a lot of synthetic polymers, so polyester, nylon, lycra. Each of them have a slightly different material property and we have to recycle them in different ways. So when they're blended together in say a polyester cotton blend, which is very common, that's quite a difficult material to recycle and reuse. Um, so that's one of, the, one of the challenges. The current state, I guess, of textile recycling is um, mechanical recycling is, is well advanced. And if you're a single component um, material, that's, that's quite okay. So if you're 100% cellulose, no problems. If you're a 100% polyester, that's quite advanced too. The blends are a lot harder. Um, and if you're, say, using mechanical recycling for a cotton t-shirt, what tends to happen is the, the cotton fibres are broken down during the mechanical recycling process. So when the fibres are shortened, they lose a little bit of their mechanical strength. So we can't make a 100% t-shirt from mechanically recycled cotton because the fibres are a little bit too short. In the chemical recycling solution, we actually are creating a regenerated cellulose fibre. And so we could use 100% recycled material. So let's think about a cotton t-shirt. We're taking that cotton t-shirt, we're dissolving it into a, a solution or a solvent that we've made here at, at IFM. And then we are either casting that into a film, we might make it into an aerogel, which is this really advanced material that can be used for scaffolding. We can make it into um, beads for drug delivery, and we can also spin it back into a regenerated cellulose fibre.